Welcome back Team Fever, back again on another video. I'm back with another Big Brother All-Stars video. And in this video, as y'all can tell by the title of it, I'm gonna be ranking the 16 house guests from my least favorite to my favorite. Or from my favorite to my least favorite. I'm going in reverse order, so it's gonna be from my least favorite to favorite. I don't know. I just, you know, Big Brother's back, and I'm just, I'm into it. I just want to do a Big Brother video. I'm also watching Big Brother All Star Season Seven. Uh, I've been reviewing that for a year now. I've been watching this season for a year, but I'm just getting back to it. So make sure y'all check out my Big Brother Seven, Big Brother All Star Season Seven videos, as well as my Big Brother All Star Season Twenty Two videos. I don't think they've ever mentioned that this is Season Twenty Two since I've been watching, but it's Season Twenty Two. So. Uh, Big Brother All Star Season 22. I like the cast. I do. I feel like there's a couple people that I wish was on it. I wish that there was some James Ryan. I think that's how you say his name from Season Six and All Stars. I wish he was on there. And I also wish. Well, I wish Evil Dick. But I know Evil Dick ain't gonna be on there. He talks so much crap about CBS and Julie and production and all like other casts. Like no way. Uh, who else do I wish? Uh, of uh, Rachel, Rachel Riley. I wish she was on there. I would. Can you imagine if Rachel, Janelle, and uh, Rachel, Janelle, and Danielle were all on? Like those are like probably. Oh, and you know what? Danielle Reyes, her too. So from season three, I haven't seen her season, but I know she's really good. Can you imagine if it was Danielle? So both Danielle, Danielle Donato, and Danielle Reyes, Rachel Riley, and Janelle, all four of them on one season. If they actually were not petty. And they actually became an alliance. They would make a final four easy, easy. If you put those four women inside the same house and they were on the same page. But let's get to my video where I rank Big Brother All Star Season 22 House Guests from in order from my least favorite to my favorite. Number 16. This will come as no surprise to any of you if you followed my videos for a while, my Big Brother videos for a while. My 16th favorite is Bailey. Bailey Dayton, Bailey Swaggy C, whatever. I'm just, what's Swaggy's real name? I don't even know what Swaggy C's real name is. I'm pretty sure they said it inside the house, but he's just been known as this Swaggy C character for so long. I have no, Chris, Chris, is it Chris? I think it's Chris. I think his name's Chris. That might be wrong. I don't know. Swaggy C, yeah, I think it's Chris. But anyway, so yeah, Bailey, I never liked her on season 22, season 20. Like, even, like, from her introduction, her first day, like, I just, I never liked Bailey. I feel like the reason why I don't like her is because her personality just seems like she thinks she's better than people, and she, like, kind of, like, the way she talked to people, like, even, like, the people who were her friend, like, the way she talked to Fessy when she was HOH, the way she talked to Rockstar when she was HOH, for some reason, she was always nice to Haley. I don't know, like, what that was about, um, and then, like, she's... I mean, she's dating Swaggy, and he has a big ego, and like her whole, like, oh, my man, my man. She kind of reminds me of Rachel Riley with the whole my man thing. And she's just annoying, and she's a lot of drama, and yelling, and crying. I'm just not into her at all. I'm not into Bailey. Like, when she was on the block, like, she thought, like, that was the biggest betrayal ever, and like, I don't know. She's too self centered. I'm, I'm not into it. And let's go to number 15. Number 15 is actually, I'm surprised by this because when I saw her, when I watched the season for the first time, I wasn't, I, I watched my first video I did on this season. I was only spoiled by like two things. When I saw Nicole F on there, who's my number 15 least favorite, I didn't really, I, I was excited. Like she was fine on season 18 to me. Like I thought she was cute. Her voice was really, really funny. Uh, I thought she did fine. I thought she was a deserving winner. Like, she did. I mean, I don't think she deserved over Paul. I don't. I feel like Paul should have won. Um, I, I think somebody has said, like, Paul. Oh, I think Paulie said it when he was voting. He said, Paul avoided getting evicted because he was on the block so many times and fought off of it. And Nicole avoided going on the block at all. But I feel like Paul's... Uh, route to get to the final two was more deserving of a win than Nicole. But the reason why I don't like Nicole that much and why she's number my number 15 is because I've heard of all the, I, I've been watching it now. I've watched the show. Uh, we're on, we're today's Saturday and I think they went in the house Wednesday. I've watched in the live feeds and stuff and what is wrong with her? Like she's like the most play, she's playing the hardest right now inside the house. And it seemed like everybody she don't like are the people I do like. 
Like, she is so after Janelle. Like, she hates Janelle. She is so after Janelle. And, then, like, she doesn't like Kaser. Uh, she wants Keisha out. Like, all the... Well, she was okay with Keisha. But mainly, like, her first two, her two main targets were, like, two of my favorites. Like, Janelle and Kaser, she wanted them out so bad. So, sorry. And she, like, overplayed. She keep crying in the house. And she's... She's... I don't know. She's just lying. So she's overplaying. She's overplaying. If you watch the feed, you know what I'm talking about. But number 14, um, it's actually Kevin, and I, I would I expected him to be my number 15 because honestly, I just don't care about him. Like I, I watched season 11, and I don't really remember him much, and I don't know. I'm just not into him. He's not my like my type of player at all. He, he does nothing for me. Um, it's, it's really nothing bad for me to say about him. It's just he's so far up because I just if he left week one I would be the least like I've, everybody on this whole cast he would be the person I'll be okay with leaving week one I mean except Bailey like because uh, I don't care about Bailey either Bailey actually irritates me Kevin I just don't care about so Nicole F at least she's entertaining like all this crap that she's doing overplaying at least it's entertaining so and when she does leave I think it's gonna be so, she gonna be crying so she gonna be so mad but anyway. And then all the drama uh, pregame with Nicole that I'm kind of hearing about now. It, it, I don't know. But Kevin, I just don't care. Number 13, my least, or my uh, favorite to least favorite, is actually Devon. The thing with Devon is, I just, I feel like she's so hype and all this crap. And like, she, she okay, all, all this crap she does, but she don't really, she don't bring nothing to the table. Like, she thinks she's real entertaining and stuff. But to me, like, She's never won a Big Brother challenge ever. So she's been on two seasons and never won a challenge. Not one challenge. Never. So, and then like her strategic aspect, she didn't do it. The only thing she did, I remember, I mean, she found out, she outed the twins, right? Liz is a damn twin. <laughs> she outed the twins and she uh, got Frank out. I think she was like pretty much the person that got Frank out um, pre-jury. And I like Frank, so I probably should watch season 18 again. Hey, season 18 is my first season of Big Brother I ever watched, and it got me hooked. But, yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't, Devon, she's just never done nothing for me. I'm not really that big a fan. Um, I don't know, I think she's extra, too. She's really very, very extra. Number 12, it's actually Nicole, I don't know her last name initial. It's the new Nicole, so Nicole from season 21. Honestly, like, I just think she kind of boring. I really do. I liked her on season 21, but I think I liked her because the other cast were just so bad. The cast was so bad. But to be honest, like, Nicole is just boring to me. She's really, really boring. And the way she always apologized for everything is just, I don't know. It's not into her. I like her. I like her as a person, though. I really like Nicole. I think she's cool. But on the show, like, the, the type of player I'm looking for in this cast especially, I think she's kind of but I like her. I do like her. Somebody has to go at number 12. So number 11, uh, I, I like this person a lot. It's Tyler. Um, I like him as a person and stuff. And I, I mentioned this in my last video, but like, it's something about Tyler where I just cannot get behind him. I think it's just because he's so good. He's so good at this game. And I don't know. Like He's so likable, too. Like It seems like everybody always liked Tyler. I can see Tyler winning. I really can see him winning because people like him so much. Like, he's just... Like, who's going after Tyler in this cast? No one's going after Tyler right now. No one's... I mean, I can see Ian. I can see Ian getting Tyler out, actually. Um, but that, like, will he have the votes? If you're age, that's one thing to put him up, but you gotta have the votes to get him out. Like, I don't know. I don't think Tyler got one eviction vote last year or, uh, in season 20. Actually, I don't even think he was sitting on the block on eviction night for any vote to get cast. But anyway... Uh, yeah, Tyler's my number 11. Number 10 is actually David. David, I like him a lot. And I kind of feel like I should switch him and Tyler. The thing with David is, I feel like he don't know what he's doing. He don't watch the show. Like, he's not a fan of the show. Maybe he is, but it's not coming across. Like, he just, he seems so oblivious. Like, he don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I want the winner to be somebody who actually, like, like Celebrity Big Brother, Tamar won. Remember that guy, I don't, Joey, I think his name was Joey. Imagine if he won. Like, he didn't know, he didn't care about the show, he didn't know about the show, it would've been weird. As opposed to Tamar, who watched the show, who actually is a fan. 
Now, I'm not saying that David don't watch the show and he's a fan or nothing, but I don't know. He just comes off as, like, he's not a big game player. And that's, like, he's just not the character that I want to see, the player that I want to see. So, he's my number 10. Oh, and he made it to the top 10. So, number 9 is actually Cody. I forgot Cody existed until he came on this season. And he made it to Final 2 on season 16. I like Cody. I don't really have a reason to dislike Cody. Uh, but it's just eight people that I like more than him. It's nothing, it's nothing really bad I can say about Cody. I like him. I like him. And he's like, I mean, he looked young. I don't know if he's still young. But he looked young. And when I say young, I mean like in the 20s, not 30. And at 30, not that 30 is old. Not even that 40 is old. But in the Big Brother world, you know. Um, but... Cody, I like why he's there. I saw his little talk with Kaser. I was watching the feeds and he told why he was there. Like, I like Cody. There's no, nothing bad to say about him. Number eight. I actually really like this person. I thought that they would have been higher, but since the show came on, she would have been higher, but since the show came on, I see how she acts. She's actually lower on my list. It's actually Danielle Donato. Danny Donato. Um, yeah, I like her a lot. I really, I haven't seen season eight. I have not seen season eight yet. I'm on season seven. I haven't seen season one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. That's it. Um, but I liked her on 13. I like her from what I know. And I was excited to see her play. And she's after Janelle, who's my girl. And she's teaming with Tyler. She's teaming with Cody. She's teaming with the people with the side of the house, like the cool kids side. And I'm always for the other side. Um, and I think she's so mean. She's a mean girl. Why was she talking with Nicole laughing about the other Nicole? So her and Nicole F, I saw laughing about the other, the new Nicole from season 21, saying how they, she invited them to go on her podcast, and they were basically laughing to myself. I think, I think Nicole said she never opened the message, and Danielle was like, oh, I opened it, and I ghosted her. I'm like, Danielle, even if you feel that way, even if you don't like her for no reason and all that, why would you say that on TV? Like, you know that come off as a mean girl. Like, I don't know. I couldn't get behind it. But, I mean, sh shoot, you should get along with your dad because y'all both mean. Uh, I like Danielle, though. I really like her. Number seven is Enzo. Enzo is no reason for me to dislike Enzo. There's no reason. I like how he, the cat's out the bag. Meow, meow's back. I, <laughs> I, like, I like Enzo. He's funny. He's cool. I like him. I like Enzo. Another man to say. Number six is Christmas. I, I know a lot of people probably expected her to be number 16 or something. She's probably number 16, 15, 14, or 13 on everybody else's list. But it's something about Christmas. It's something about Christmas. I like her. I feel like she was dealt a bad hand in South Season 19. She was dealt a bad season in Season 19. Uh, she is friends with some people who I'm not a fan of, like Paul and Josh, but it's something about Christmas, man. It's something about her. I really, I'm a fan of Christmas. I like her. I wouldn't mind seeing her win. I would not mind seeing Christmas win this season. Number five is actually Memphis, who I would expect to be up like 16, 15, 14. But since I actually watched the show and I've watched the feed since it came on, I like Memphis. There's nothing I can say bad about him. So... And he's part of the old school crowd. <laughs> the old, and the old school, to me, the difference between old school and new school on the seasons is 15. Season 15. If it's up, so there's no one from season 15 on this show. So if you're after season 15, you're new school. If you're before season 15, you're old school. So uh, I'm more for the old school people, even though I haven't seen all these seasons. And Memphis, um, I, I, I hope him and Christmas, like, become pretty close. I watched them talk about their kids for like half hour. I'm like, I don't got kids or nothing, but like, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy listening to them bond. Number four, would not expect this because I don't even remember this girl that much. <laughs> it's actually Keisha. I like Keisha. There's nothing like, I don't remember her doing like game moves or nothing. It's just, she's old school and I don't know. I feel like she might go home this week. And I mean, there's nothing for me to dislike about her. This list, now that I'm looking at, I'm looking at it, I'm like, um, I guess it's because I just wouldn't mind her winning. I would rather her win than Tyler, David, Cody. Like, I, <laughs> I like Keisha. I think she's the oldest person in the whole house too. 
Wow. And she looked good. Keisha looked good. Number three. Oh, I love this guy so much. This is my boy Ian. Ian. I like him better this season than I even liked him in season 14. And I like how he said, like, I was a boy in season 14, but now I'm a man. I've grown up. I got a real job. I got a girlfriend. I got a I like he was. I like I like Ian. He's such a nerd. Such a like a little like. I don't know. He's just so cool. And he used to be a really big super fan of Big Brother. And I know that he's not now. Or at least he wasn't. Maybe he got back into it. But I just, I don't know. I feel like he is like, I feel like if he could win, I really, really want him to win. And I don't know. Like, I feel like he's not, um, so like one of the reasons why I'm not that, like a main reason why I don't like Bailey is because I feel like she's so arrogant, so cocky. Like, she thinks everything's full of herself. And I feel like Ian is the complete opposite. But he could be, because he's so smart. He's athletic. Well, he seemed athletic inside the challenge. He was winning a lot in season 14. But I guess he's not athletic. But I like Ian. <laughs> Ian and Nicole, the two nerds. And, and nerd is endearing, all right? It's a good thing. Um, but, yeah, I like Ian. Number two, you already know, my top two is Kaser and Janelle. Number two is Kaser. Number one is Janelle. I just, when I saw them come on the show, I can't, I had a big smile on my face. As soon as I saw Kaser, I'm like, what up, Kaser? Like that, like, that will always live on. Whenever he does something that's cool, I always get a smile. I'm like, what up, Kaser? <laughs> I mean, pretty God Kaser make it to jury this time, though, because I'm, I'm on season uh, seven right now, and the episode I'm on, I'm pretty sure he's about to leave in the next episode because we're getting really, really close to jury, and they spoiled me on here by telling me that he didn't make it to jury, so. What up, Kaser? <laughs> I don't know. Kaser and Janelle, I love their friendship. I love, like, personally, I'm on season seven right now, and I don't see how Janelle is known as one of the best Big Brother players. I don't see that yet. So I'm thinking that it's, it, I will see it inside season seven because in season six like maybe my memory is just bad but like i mean she was she did fine in season 14 she 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 won some stuff she did all right but she got eliminated way early so i don't know janelle's my favorite because uh she's always a target like it seemed like people always don't like her but she's nice to me she don't do really nothing bad but season six, didn't she have a showman's real early and then he got limit, evicted real early? I think that was her. Might have been somebody else, though. I don't know. But Kaser and Janelle, I like them. They're a dynamic duo. And they're old school, of course. Um, it's hard for me to explain. I just really like them. I really, really like them. I think they're fun. Janelle's definitely fun. I love that she's like, she's cute. And, well, now she's older, but I'm assuming that she can still win those challenges. I'm assuming she can still win those challenges. She will win a lot. Uh, she's really, she, she loved the game. Uh, I think she's nice. And Kaser, same thing. Uh, pretty cool. So that's my list of all the house guests who I like from least to best. My list is Bailey, Nicole F, Kevin, Devon, New Nicole, Tyler, David, Cody, Danielle, Enzo, Christmas, Memphis, Keisha, Ian, Kaser, Janelle. That's my list. Be sure to leave y'all list inside the comment section down below. As well as give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and share it on all social media. Until next time, y'all, catch you later.